today we're going to look at the Tylo steam generators. This is the 9VA, which is the most popular model, and there's various different kilowatt sizes of this one. And this is the 246VB, and they're both very similar. They've got the same equipment inside them, they're just laid out differently. This is a more compact version, and it's called 246 because it can be a 2 kilowatt, a 4 kilowatt, or a 6 kilowatt, depending on how you connect it up. It can also be single phase or three phase. On the 9VA, as you can see, we have a set of level probes at the top. This is a spare set of probes. They just measure the water level in the tank, and these periodically have to be cleaned. At the bottom, we've got the inlet solenoid for letting the water in, and we've got the outlet actuator. This is not actually a solenoid, it's an actuator. So it heats up, it expands, it comes outwards and opens this valve and releases the water to the drain. When this water comes out it is boiling hot, so the drain should be made in a, a material that can stand the heat. This is the ends of the elements. There's a spare element and as you can see the formation of them. The top and bottom are one element and the middle two connections are the other element. At the other end of the steam generator we have the electrical end. Here we have the control PCB, the overheat thermostat, which is a mechanical one and has a reset button on the end, the PCB, which does all the main control functions, and the inlet terminals there, and some other terminals for control and lights. And at the very bottom, we have a rotary switch. The switch is meant for isolating it really for maintenance purposes and not to turn the steam generator on and off. And you can see inside the 246 we have the same equipment just laid out in a slightly different fashion. If you do have to get to the PCB to change it, it's just as well to release both of these switches because it's very hard to get to that one. There's a spare tank here also. If you do get trouble with the tanks and we get a lot of calcium build up in the steam generator, you sometimes have to change the complete tank. With all these steam generators, the main problem is calcium buildup in the tanks when they're not descaled properly. This can cause all sorts of problems. The way to check for it is to either look down the top of the camera or remove this rubber bung very carefully from the drain valve. And then that way you can look inside and just see what condition the tank's in. Best to really descale them uh, certainly every month. Depends on the use and depends on the water in the area. There's also a high temperature stat inside, you can just see the wire there. This is an electronic protection and it goes inside the tank. If this one picks up an overheat, it will let cold water continually flush through the tank. To check that any time, the easiest way is to just pull the connection off the circuit board. It's low voltage. If that stops the problem, then you know it's this electronic uh, thermostat that's the problem. We hope this has helped you today and if you have any other problems or technical questions please don't hesitate to contact us.